What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome video for you guys today. We have two Pokemon that we only used twice on the channel or once before. Now it's going to be twice. But we're going to be showcasing them a little bit more. And that is going to be Choice Specs, Noggin and Adele, alongside with Power Herb Lunala. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. We are so so close to 8,000 subscribers and that just blows my mind seriously thank you guys once again but I was checking my analytics and about 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel so if that is one of you guys what are you doing scroll down a little bit click that subscribe button seriously it only takes a second of your guys time to support this channel and support me as a content creator it really does go a long way plus it makes things easier for you guys as it puts my videos in your subscriber feed so you guys aren't always searching me or looking around and you're recommended to find my videos but Getting started here with the team, we have Ndidi in that top left corner with that Psychic Surge and that Focus Sash. This Pokemon is a great support mod. It has expanded force to do some damage, helping hand to help our ally Pokemon do more damage, protect, and follow me to protect ally Pokemon. Right next to him, we have Regilecki, who I feel like I've been using a lot on this rank ladder. It's just so good and all around a great Pokemon. I feel like it works well on every single team. It has Transistor ability, Magnet to do more damage, then we got Thunderbolt, E-Web, Bolt, Switch, and Protect. Normal move set for Regilecki. Middle left, we have Urshifu, the Dark and Fighting type, with Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Poison Jab, and Sucker Punch. I absolutely love this move set. We cover a lot. We can do a lot of damage. We have first turn priority, we have a coverage move, and then we have two very hard-hitting stab moves. We have Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protects, and this one is Choice Scarf. So we can outspeed a lot of Pokemon in end game. Right next to him, we have another choice mod, and that is Nagana Dell, this Ultra Beast. I feel like this is like the most underused Ultra Beast, but one of the coolest looking ones. I don't know. Its typing is amazing with Poison and Dragon. We have Heat Wave for coverage, Draco Meteor for Stab Dragon. Then we have Sludge Babe, or Sludge Babe, <laughs> Sludge Bomb, and Sludge Wave for our uh, Stab Poison moves. We also have that choice spec, so all of our moves are going to be doing more damage. But we can only choice into one move. Bottom left corner is going to be our restricted mine. That is going to be Lunala. I love this legendary. I think it's one of the coolest box art legendaries for Pokemon Moon. It just looks so dope and all around a great Pokemon. Psychic and Ghost type. We have that Shadow Shield, which is an awesome ability. So I think it takes first hit. It halves our damage if we're at full HP. So that's pretty dope. We got Power Herb as our item. Meteor Beam for that Power Herb. Moon Geist Beam as our signature move. Expanding Force to work well on that Psychic Surge. And Protect as our final move. Then in the final spot, it's going to be our Life Orb Pokemon. And that is going to be Thunderous over here. He is so strong. This Pokemon is really, really good. Especially with his Defiant ability. If someone's leading Intimidate or you know he's going to drop one of our stats. We get this Pokemon in. Get that Defiant boost. Go plus two on attack. And dominate that battle. He has the move set of Wild Charge, Fly, Superpower, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get a winning record with this Lunala and Naga Nadell team. Getting started here, going up against a Kyogre team for battle number one alongside with Kartana, Galarian Moltres, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, and Indeedee. Okay, I kind of want to bring... Like, I kind of want to lead Thunderous, but then at the same time, if he doesn't lead Incineroar, we can't really do much. I think I'm going to go Lunala and Indeedee. Get rolling here, because speed isn't that much of a factor here. No one has Tailwind. No one can really roll off from there. I kind of want to bring Life Orb Thunderous in the back end, just in case he's going to bring that Incineroar and try to get that drop on me. Um, Let me check summary. Is Lunala going to be able to outspeed? I think that outspeeds a Kyogre, right? 143. I think Kyogre is a little bit slower. We do have Indeedee over here. Indeedee. Indeed, he's going to be able to rock out with Lunala. And then I think I'm going to bring Nakan Adele and Thunderous. I think that's going to be play. I'm kind of digging that because Nakan Adele is such a cool Pokemon. He is so dope. I really do enjoy this Pokemon. All right, let's get him rolling from here. Especially he, he, he hits very, very hard. And we have that Choice Specs. So if we can roll out with that, get that Choice Specs rolling, we can dominate this battle. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What do you guys want to see? In the next main series Pokemon game, like whether it's something little or something big that they're gonna do. Like for example, for me, I'd rather really see more open worldness for, to it. Like I think they took a step in the right direction with Pokemon Sword and Shield, having those wild areas. But I think the whole game should just be like that, kind of like how Legends of RCs kind of look, but just make the main series like that. And I feel like they should add more gyms. I feel like more gyms is going to be a thing, and bring it back to like the original gyms, not just like the uh, what they did in Pokemon Sword and Shield with like what was it, the Trials or whatever they were. Trials with Sun and Moon. I feel like they had to, they had to bring back like original gyms original og gyms you get the batteries and maybe up it to 12 gyms make it four more i think that could be really really cool but he does end up leading the instant war yo i knew i should have led my defiant boy i could have been the play of the week he cannot fake me out i'm just gonna go for an expanding force you know it's not gonna hit him i could go for a medium beam, but i need to get rid of this kyogre so we're gonna go here i could go for follow me but he's gonna hit with a double hitting move so i might just helping hand here or i might double through what do i do here 
Do I helping hand or double third with the expanded force? Nah, I'm just gonna helping hand, make sure uh, Lunala does bigger damage. Let's get after it. Helping hand is gonna pop out here. Hopefully, this thing drops a fake out with a psychic start rolling. Let's see. Probably not. I'm just gonna go straight for a water spout. That's kind of scary. Can we eat that up? Yeah, all day. All day, baby. Water spout's not doing a lot to us. We're thriving. Expanded force can come out here. It's not gonna affect Incineroar. And we're gonna do some big damage over on this Kyrie. Can we KO? That's my question. We do not. Ooh, that's a little rough. Darkest Slayer can come out here and say bye bye to NDD. Uh, I mean, I mean that's fine. Oh no, go after Lunala. That's fine. And take out Lunala. Hey, now that's not fine. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Dang dude, I thought we were gonna do way more damage. I really did think we were gonna do way more damage than that, but that's totally fine. I'm cool with it. Um, I'm definitely gonna go into Landers. I'm gonna Dynamax here for sure, and I think I'm just going to take out that uh. I could knuckle. I could knuckle, but I think I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to lightning and take out Kyogre. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. We're going to knuckle and take out Kyogre. Or well, not knuckle. Or should I knuckle and take out Kyogre? And just get the attack boost. I think that's play. I keep the surge rolling, and then I might just follow me. See if we can drag an attack over here, but I think we're just going to help a hand here. I think Kyogre's gonna outspeed just drop like an origin pulse or something like that. So follow me's really not gonna do much. But dang, I really did think uh what's called was gonna do a lot more damage. That expanding force. Did not do as much as I thought it was. Because we had the surge, it was stab. I mean we had no boost. We it's not like we're life orb or anything. So I I kinda understand. But we're gonna get rolling out here. Dynamax into Thunderous. We're gonna look for this attack uh boost here. Helping hands coming out here. We're going to Knuckle. This Knuckle should be able to KO. Water spouts can come out and oh is he choice in a water spout? The water spout does less and less due to the HP. It's, he could go for a parting shot, that could be his play. And if he does, that's going to actually define boost us. I would love that. But there's our attack boost right there. Lovely. We get rid of the Kyogre and we know we outspeed that instant order now. And I think another max knuckle could take it out. Let's just see what this thing's gonna do. Hopefully it's not rocking Willow, so that'll be a bad play for us. Parting shot. Oh yo, this dude, this dude don't know about defying over here. Let's go. We're plus two now. No, we're plus. Yeah, we're plus two. We are plus two. That is lovely. Oh, yo, we're plus four. Yo, it double drops and we get double defiant boost. Yo, yo, we getting after it. We getting after it. <laughs> and he's gonna show his last two mods, which is great. We're gonna have to uh, bring out our final mod, which is gonna be not gonna Adele, which is totally fine. We're choice specs. Moltres is gonna come out here. I can thunder that thing and drop it in one hit, no problem. I know we have speed. I know we're buzzing here. Oh, yo, you just you just brought out the boy. And his final mind is going to be Tapu Koko. Which, yo, I'm totally fine with. Nagan Dell is going to come out here. I don't remember that's fairy type, so I think I'm going to choice into a poison move. I think we have to. I think that's why. And he sets electric surge for us. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Hopefully, drop this lightning. Or do I go for speed advantage here? Speed advantage is probably going to be play. Take him out because look at our stats here. Plus four. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And I think we just, uh, we're choosing a sludge bomb. Sludge bomb or sludge wave. Hmm. I mean, doesn't that hit? Yeah, it hits thunder, so I don't think it's fine. We're going to choose in a sludge bomb. We go after Top of Coco here. That's going to be the player. Dynamax that Moltres. And let's show, show me that we can take it out one hit. Just by dropping it. That would be beautiful. Because we are going to get speed advantage here, too. Because we're going to get the speed boost. And he's going to end up Dynamaxing the Coco. Okay. He's going to Dynamax Coco. And Coco actually might be faster than my uh, my Thunderous, which is fine. Let's just see what he does here. I'm going to go for a Fairy move on to me. And oh no, he's going to go for a Max Lightning over on the Thunderous. And Thunderous should be able to eat this pretty well. We do not eat that at well at all. We're going to get that as Life Orb damage. Sludge Bomb comes out. Oh my god, yo, Nagana Dell doing him dirty. Nagana Dell doing him dirty. One tap on the top of Coco with that Choice Scarf. Uh, Thunder should go beforehand. We do get the Beast Boost. You get that lovely Beast Boost here. And Airstream is going to take out this Moltres and take us out at the same time. This is life. Right? But we're going to get a Speed Boost for Nagana Del. This Dude, this match is like real messy, man. <laughs> but he does Dynamax that Coco. Smart play by him. Does a lot of damage to us. But we live on like 6 HP. And Nagana Del is able to just dump on it completely. Dude, that thing hits like a truck. That was actually really cool. He's going to throw out a final mine. That's going to be instant reward. That's not going to affect us for special attacking. So, Intimidate. Nah, we don't have to worry about that. Let's get it out of here. Get it out of here. But we are choice into the Sludge Bomb. 
choice into the sludge bomb that's all we got we can only use that cannot drop a Draco meteor or anything and luckily it is just normally effective and we can roll from there and i think we pretty much have this match wrapped up don't fake me out do, do a teensy amount, amount of damage to us and we are very very lightweight we are very lightweight like you see how much that did that fake out did 30. there's a sludge bomb we might be able to KO with this let's see we do not we just need one more turn we get a poison we just need one more turn we're not gonna doubt eat this eat this up eat this up baby it's a tasty snack the tasty shad it's an oreo cookie and milk it's an oreo cookie and milk thank you so much he eats up that shot we should be able to come out into a sludge bomb and pick up this victory for us we should be fine here no, we're not gonna tell mvp getting started in battle number one he doesn't eat his berry but yo uh, we're taking him out regardless we're taking him out we can do we can do enough damage there sludge bomb's 100 100 actually so as long as he doesn't avoid this attack <laughs> that would be bad sludge bomb comes through connects that's ko and say gg let's go let's get it baby battle number one got started off really really strong lunala didn't hit as hard but now gonna delve comes out and clutches that one up for us it's time to go back to back ladies and gentlemen we're going up against a heavy meta zassian team and we know how strong that could be i think i used a team similar to this or the exact same one in a previous video i'm not too sure kind of forgetting but we know how strong zassian charizard and venusaur can be um i have 30 seconds pick well 35 to pick uh i don't know who i should go into he might lead the torque combo and try to take weather control and that could be very speedy for us. I think I want to go Regilecki and try to get that speed control rolling. Uh, who else can I go? I'll go Thunderous and try to just like... I think Thunderous is going to be a great lead here. If he goes Venusaur, I can Airstream and start taking speed that way. we go Naga Nadel and Urshifu. We could double up with the Choice. The, both Choice Pokemon could be really, really well. So I think we're going to take both of them and leave Lunala and Ndidi in the back end. And I think we should be thriving with that. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. But... I already know this battle is going to be a tough one. We Everybody knows how strong Zassian teams are. Especially when you pair them up with Charizard and Venusaur. Like, a Charizard team on its own is strong. A Venusaur team on its own is strong. And a Zassian team on its own is strong. Put them all together. It's domination. He's going to go Grimstar and Venusaur. And I'm cool with that. He might fake me out. I'm going to try to take speed control. I think I'm going to Dynamax here and drop an Airstream. And I think I'm just going to E-Web. I think that's probably slow down these Pokemon. Dynamax and go for an Airstream. I think it's a solid play. I think Jeans is making some solid calls here. And he's not going to swap. So that means Lando is faster. Well, not Lando. Thunderous is faster. And he can't swap into Lando because then we get the fire boost. So that's what I love about Thunderous. He's heavy hitting and he cannot get that intimidate drop. Just a win-win for us. Just a win-win. But we're Dynamaxing here. Um, I should be fastest on the field. We should have no problem doing this. Oh, he's going to Dynamax and Venusaur. Okay. Could be a pretty pretty good play. He's going to Dynamax Venusaur here. And I mean, I'm slowing him down, and I'm getting a speed boost. So even if he brings in a Tailwind Pokemon, we, or not Tailwind, even if he brings in Venusaur, I feel like that Chlorophyll is really not going to do much. I feel like we should still be thriving here. Let's see how this rolls down. He's going to set up a Reflect. Okay, smart cookie play. Smart cookie play, baby. Hopefully he's not policy. That could be a problem. E-Web comes out. We're slowing him down. Get that slow down, baby. Maybe we can take out this Venusaur in one hit. There's a possibility here. There's a possibility. This is Stab and Life Orb. And super effective. So, let's see. Nope. No KO, but still a decent amount of damage. We have speed for next turn, so we should be thriving pretty well here. There's that lovely speed boost. And Venusaur is going to go, and I wonder what he's going to do. What are you going to do? Are you just going to take out my Regilecki with a Quake? I'm going to Vine Lash over onto... Over on the Regilecki. I'm totally fine by that. Oh, my lord. That's... Fine turn by me. I'll take that turn nine times out of ten. Venusaur shows his orb. We're gonna take some violent lash damage, and I'm gonna be able to get out. Uh, I think I'm gonna get out Urshifu here and save Naga Nadel for the back, or I can get out Naga Nadel as he rocks out here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna get out Naga Nadel. I'm gonna choice spec into a Sludge Bomb. The Sludge Bomb rocks out. Let's look at this, you know, Sludge Bomb's gonna work on both of them. Gonna work on both of them. Um, gonna choice into Sludge Bomb over on the Venusaur. That should be able to pick up a KO. And then do I Lightning? And set the terrain in our advantage, or do I get another Speed Boost in case he swaps? I think we just Lightning. I mean, what's gonna do more damage? They're both the same. I could Knuckle. Hmm. Just trying to think. Let's play. 
if he swaps here, he might be able to outspeed me. I think I'm just gonna go for Lady. I don't really see him swapping. He might max guard. There's the guard. Okay, that's fine. Lightning with the call here. And he's gonna set up a light screen, which is totally fine by me. That is totally fine. I'm gonna be able to drop this lightning and get buzzing from here. Get it after. Can we KO? I don't think we can through the reflect. We cannot through the reflect. Which is totally fine. I'm going to max knuckle, get that attack boost, and we should be thriving here. We should be able to pick up a double kill. Like speed's in our favor. Do I get the attack boost or the speed boost? I think attack boost is gonna be better for us. Especially for my thunders, because we are a plus one on speed, and I don't see him really outspeeding us regardless after that. Not gonna Dell's gonna take damage. I don't see him swapping, I really don't. Um Yeah, we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna just gonna knuckle. Actually, no, we're gonna swap that. So the it's not very effective the Venusaur. I'm gonna go sludge bomb over onto you. Oh, we can get a beast boost here too. We can get a beast boost and an attack boost. So be good for both sides. Special attack boost for Nagana Dell. Regular attack boost for our, our what's it called? Our Thunders. And hopefully he has Lando in the back so we can force a Defiant out. Because he has to throw out his next two Pokemon. If Snarl's going to Thunder Wave, smart play. Before he goes out, he's going to slow us down a little bit. I'll give it to him. So that actually might give Venusaur another shot here. That is going to give Venusaur another shot. Okay. The game's changing. The game is changing here. There goes the Knuckle. Knuckle's going to pick up the KO. All right. See what happens here. Let's see what happens here, because this could actually pull it towards his favor. Because the Venusaur should outspeed my Nagana Dell, unless, unless we do it. Oh, he's still faster. Oh, get him out of here. He deserves to die. Get him out of here. Nagana Dell is still faster, paralyzed. I mean, I guess he is minus one Venusaur, so that's fine by me. Beast boost coming out here. We have that attack boost. We are thriving on each end. We do not have a Dynamax turn left. We're going to get out of here, but we're going to be faster than everybody, so we should be thriving. Hopefully, he pulls out Landorus, Defiant boosts us, and then we can just sweep this battle. But I still have Choice uh, Scarf. What's it called? I still have Choice Scarf, Urshfu in the back to outspeed anybody and do big damage. we pull out Zacian. Zacian coming out of here. And Torx. And Torx are coming out. Okay. Interpret Swords bouncing out here. And Thunders should be fastest. It should go Thunder, Zacian, Nagana Dell, then uh, Torkoal. Torkoal's gonna go last. I don't know if I should do big damage to the Torkoal now. To kind of prevent any eruption, or should I get after Zacian? Like, they're both really, really good. I gotta go here. I think Wild Charge is gonna replay. Yeah, let's just Wild Charge over onto the Zacian. See how much damage we can do. And get after it. Zacian might protect. That would be smart. But hopefully, this Sludge Bomb can connect if he does protect. He does not protect, so big damage coming out here. Do we KO? Nope. I'm only bring it down to half. That thing tanked up. That thing tanked up. There goes recoil and life orb damage. Behemoth Blade's coming through here, and who are you taking out? Go after uh, Thunders. I'm gonna go after Knockin' Adele. Sorry, buddy. Knockin' Adele goes down. Oh, and Torko's gonna be able to take us out here. I'm kinda scared. Eruption. Oh no, he's yawning. <gasps> big mistake. Big mistake. He had that game in the bag. I think he had that one in the bag. If Say he takes out Thunders there. It's a 2v1. If he just erupted. It, oh my lord. So you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. He might double protect here. I have to choice into a move. And what move should I choice into? Close combat? Yeah. Close combat's got to be the play. It's got to be the play here. And I'm going to... Uh, I think close combat should be able to take out Zassi, no problem. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, we, we got to do that. We got to split attack here. Wild Charge coming through. Doing some damage. Maybe we should have uh, doubled up. Maybe we should double through. Let's see how much damage this... Uh, well, we survived on two, which is lovely, but we're going to go to sleep. Close combat. Take him out. Oh my lord, we should have doubled through. I knew we should have doubled through. Now that's definitely GG's. Now it's 100% GG's. Sacred Sword's coming through. Everyone knows through. Now it's going to KO. And GG's. Yeah, we should double through. I wonder what this Torkoal was going for. Let's see. Now he's going for a Burning Jealousy. I think my what's called maybe would have been able to eat that up. Urshifu. That would have been close. That would have been real close. But we end up losing that battle to a very strong team. Go 1-1. One one. Now we can hop into our third and final and look for that winning record.
Third and final battle, looking for that winning record. We're going up against another drought team, but this time without Venusaur, it's just Groudon and uh, Charizard. He also has Clefairy for that support. Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Thunderous in the back end. Uh, Thunderous would probably Assault Vest on this squad. I think the Life Orb goes to the Charizard. Um, what does uh, Groudon usually roll? I totally forget what item Groudons usually give, but not too sure. Uh, Incineroar is probably holding a berry, and the boy Rillaboom probably has either a berry or, say, a Miracle Seed. Give him a little grassy boost, or it could be choice. Or it could be choice. You can do a lot with a Rillaboom, but who should I go into? I kind of want to bring Lunala. I could bring in DDD as two fake out mons, so I think we're going to do this. Just so you can't fake out and get after it on that end. Um, I think we bring Thunderous. I think Thunderous does work, considering you can't get hit by ground from the ground on, and we can do work up against that Charizard. I am liking that. And then in the final spot, do I bring Choice Spec Ursh Urshifu or Naganathel? I think Urshifu is going to come up a little bit bigger here. I'm going to roll out with him. I'm going to bring in the Choice Scarfoy. I'm going to bring in the Choice Scarfoy. I am liking this Lunal League, considering we can do a decent amount. I drop a follow me. Um, and Lunal. Oh no, Lunal cannot dodge ground moves. Which is whack. He's Ghost and Psychic. But he's in the air. And he's not levitated. So he can go into ground moves with the ground on any day of the week. And he's going to go into He's going to go into Charizard and Rillaboom. He cannot fake me out. Um, I think I should drop a Moongeist Beam. Or not a Moongeist Beam. A Meteor Beam. Get that attack boost and roll from there. Do I help hand this? It'll be play. It'll be play. You go follow me. I think follow me is going to be applied. We go follow me, and we get right after this Charizard. I'm not trying to deal with it. Yeah, Jeans knows what to do. Jeans got to play. Follow me coming out here. And I am going to just drop this Meteor Beam. Get that plus one special attack. No stab, but it's big damage, super effective. And this should be able to dump on Charizard unless he Dynamaxes, which I still see a tiny bit chance taking him out, but a tiny bit not. So let's just see what's going on. There's a Dynamax. Come on, yo. Meteor Beam. Clutch it up for us. Clutch it up for us, man. Follow me. going to come in here. Like I said, he can't fake out, so he's probably going to go for a Grassy Glide or maybe a Knockoff. Knockoff could be play. But either way, if he goes for a Knockoff, my item's either A, already off, or it's not taking me out. Because I'm focus sashed. I am sashed. Follow me. Popping out here. And this Meteor Beam's coming in hot. He goes to Glide. Easy Eats, baby. Easy Eats all day. G-Max Wildfire is going to take out Ndidi, and that buys us time to set up this Meteor Beam and roll from there. Okay, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Alright. Um, I think Thunderous actually out might outspeed a Charizard, so I can go into an Airstream next turn, which can be nice. Let's get rolling. Meteor Beam, how much damage are we doing? Yo, dump on this thing. That would be hilarious. Get after it. Get after it. Meteor Beam. Doing dirty. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, big plays coming out from Gene. So we get that follow me off. Meteor Beam takes out his G-Max Charizard. And now we can roll out with Thunderous. Dynamax him. And pretty much roll after this battle. I can go into an Airstream and pretty much uh, take out this Roll Boom. We do not have the Psychic Surge anymore, which I really don't like. But, hey, it happens. It happens. I'm so fine with this turn. That was a big play by us. Get rid of a top tier Pokemon for his team. And we get our Thunder. We get out my main man Thunders. And who's he going to pull out? Browdon's coming out here. So weather is changing. He's going to get that. And I think I just Airstream and probably Moongeist Beam. And roll from there. He gets the Drought to him. The lovely little Drought. He cannot hit my boy with a uh, ground move. He can't hit us with a fire move. So I'm Dynamaxing. And I'm doing that. And I think I just Moongeist Beam. Do I double up into the real boom or do I go Moongeist moon Beam on that side? Hmm. I think. I'm trying to think. I might double up. I think we're fine. I really don't see that real boom doing too, too much to us. Maybe taking off our item? Nah, we're doing that. This airstream should be able to do enough damage. We thriving here. We should be thriving. Dynamax comes out. We still have Urshfu in the back. With the choice scarf, so we're gonna be able to outspeed anything he has to offer. I get rolled from there. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I do like my Urshfu usually with a choice man, but choice scarf does work with this team. Usually, usually Urshfu is speedy enough, and you just want to get want to get him out here and do big damage. Usually, choice man rocks out. He's gonna glide over into Lunala. 
That's fine, Lunala is gonna have easy eats. Oh, and you outspeed, wow. I don't know how outspeeds us, so good thing we are going into an airstream here. Hopefully this KOs. Let's see. It does, awesome. So this KOs. Lunala's plus one on special attack. He's plus one on speed now. We're gonna take speed advantage now. Oh, big turns by Gene Joe. I've been playing really well for, for recording lately, so I'm happy. We've been going, we went two and one the past three videos. And we're looking good here. We're one and one, looking to go two and one. Get that winning record. Moon Guy Speed's gonna come out here. Moon looks phenomenal. Look how dope that looks. Comes up there, calls power to the moon. And just doing big damage. So, again, Lunala should be faster now. So I should be able to go into another Moon Guy Speed. Take out Groudon. If not, like I said, we have Urshifu in the back. Or he just turns off his console, yo. Let's go. Let's get it. I thought my game froze or my recording software like stopped working. I was like, why why is there a little laggy? But this dude just turned off his console. That is what's up. We go two and one and we collect that winning record for you guys. You gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. Got that winning record for you guys and made that person in the third and final battle rage quit. It cracks me up so much just knowing that the guy who like looked at his console, stared at it for a little bit, and just turned it off flipped his controller onto his desk and walked out the room and never played Pokemon again. It's just so funny to me. I love it so much. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And above all else, have yourself a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.